If you've uh, f seen any vault videos, you'll see that uh, Tillman Pugh is one of the players in the vault video. He is a switch hitter. And so I think in some of the videos, he hits right-handed. In some of the videos, he hits left-handed. Uh, I would say that in my off-seasons and spring trainings of working with him uh, and other switch hitters that I've had, uh, it's really dependent on that person. They, I, I try to get as much feel back from them, like, hey, you know, how are you feeling from the right side, left side? Do you want to spend a little bit more time on the left side today? Do you want to spend a little more time on the right side? And just trying to get that feel of like, yeah, you know what, I feel really good from the right side right now. Ah, I feel like I'm doing this. And usually it's people who are naturally, if they're naturally right-handed and they're trying to hit left-handed, maybe we're going to spend more time on the movement piece of the left-handed side. And, you know, so maybe it's 75% of the time on that. I would just say it's a kind of a case-by-case -case situation. Uh, you know, I would say that a lot of college players give those guys hard times because they, they always feel like they get more extra hitting than everybody else. They're only a switch hitter because they want extra swings. Uh, and so I think you just have to be careful about like how much you give them. So if they're going to take uh, 20 swings in a day or 100 swings in a day, you know, they're not getting 150 because they're a switch hitter, but uh, we've got to figure out, you know, what is, what is the one area we want to work on. If it's live, maybe it's 50-50, and, you know, we've got to be able to attack their deficiency a little bit longer. So if I have someone who's really good from the right side and they need more work on the left side, I might spend a little more time on that side. Does that make sense?